So I've been watching this show, it's called The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, and it's on Netflix, and it takes place in the 50s, and it's very entertaining. I definitely recommend the show. Um, I'm really enjoying watching it, but the styling, it's all in the late 50s, so it's this feminine silhouette. Uh, they do do a lot of dresses, but they also do this sort of clean, kind of Audrey Hepburn looking with like the cigarette pants and then the clean top. So I wanted to talk to you today about using an era in time as your style guide because that's what I did. I have been watching the show and I'm getting so inspired watching these outfits. Now, not so much the dresses, the ladylike dresses, that's not really me, but the clean silhouette, it's almost this minimal silhouette. Um, so I wanna to talk to you about using eras as style guides, but making it your own, because that's really what we're trying to do here. We are taking inspiration, and then we're bringing it into, with our ideas and with our closet, and we make it our style, so we create our own signature look. So today I was getting dressed, and I was thinking about this show, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel from the 50s, and I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing. So, um, so, Maybe you are familiar with this era in the late 50s. It's like clean cigarette pants, simple tops. So that's what I did here. So I have a pair of these pants. They are, um, they're pinstripe. And these are actually kind of low-waisted. I wish that they were not so low-waisted, but somebody gave me these pants, so free. So, and I like the pants. They're comfortable, they're cotton. And they have this, um, you know, they're kind of cropped. So they definitely fall in line with this 50 silhouette that I was going for. And then I just put on a really basic, you know, monotone because that's also part of the look. It's a clean monotone look. I just put on this really basic scoop neck top. Okay, so if I was going to keep this as a 50s look, I'd probably go put on a pair of ballet flats and then be out the door. But because that isn't really my style, I have um, just a different aesthetic, so I want to bring in my style elements so I can take this inspiration from the 50s era and then make it my own. So how do I do that? Well, first I added this belt, this braided belt here that I got. Um, so this is not 50s, I don't know. This is maybe what, 70s, 80s? So I put the belt in and then these belts, a lot of times they hang really low, which I find to be cumbersome. So I just put them in the pocket and I get rid of it. Okay, so now I've added on to this 50 silhouette of, you know, it's a clean look, but now I've just added this, this print and color. So these are my style elements, like the eclectic accessories. That's, that's something that makes me feel like me. Okay, so when I wear eclectic accessories and colors, that brings out more of the feeling that I want to convey, okay? So adding on to this, um, so you know, the headscarf, I think this is, she definitely wears headscarves in the, uh, myth, the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I think this is a 50s look, you know, they kind of have it hanging in the back and this has been my styling non-negotiable, dealing with this haircut. So with the headscarf regularly. Um, now I mentioned I could do ballet flats, but that wouldn't really be me. So for me, I would use, uh, these sneakers because these sneakers are metallic and these are these are fun these are vibrant I love these sneakers these sneakers these sneakers feel like me so I'm gonna take these sneakers and I'm going to add them into this 50 silhouette so now I'm adding in my style elements but I'm using the inspiration of the 50 styling and then the last thing I would do because the weather is kind of it's not very nice out today. It's kind of gray. Uh, I think it's like 60s, whatever. So it's definitely um, a jacket weather. So I'm gonna put on this jacket. Now, this is not 50. Okay, so this, they would not be doing this. So this is now, I'm no longer this clean look of the 50s, but I'm inspired by the clean look of the 50s. And I took the style elements that are mine and I made this outfit mine. So that's what happens once you bring in your elements and as soon as you get into your closet, it's the outfit is going to become yours because you're going to mix it with your stuff. So you get the, the elements from your closet and you mix it with your ideas and then the outfit becomes yours. So. That's just something to play around with. Um, and also using eras, so style eras, um, 50s. I think the 60s also seems like a really fun time. I had a moment of doing those flowy skirts and the beads. 
Um, 70s, I can relate to the 70s. I love a good wide leg pant. So it's just kind of fun to think about the eras um, instead of the people. But what, what styling inspiration can you grab from the different eras in our history and then add in your style elements to make the outfit uniquely yours? So I'm curious to hear what, what eras you're attracted to, what eras you're inspired by. Um, I'm having a little of the 50s clean moment. Uh, like I said, I also like the 70s, the 80s. I don't know if I can get behind that. But I'm curious to hear what eras you like. So tell me in the comments below. And um, yeah, just stay open to the inspiration around you. And then think about how you can take that inspiration and make it your own. So you make it your own unique signature style. So that is it, a quick styling tutorial for you this morning. I hope we have sound right now. I don't know if I can do it a third time because this is the second time I did it because the first one, no sound. Anyhow, hope you're doing well. I wish you a beautiful day and I will see you soon. Okay, bye.